I guess there was some hint to it. And I never noticed that. Mm, manatee uvula. Well, it's a delicacy in some cultures. No thanks. But yeah, I, I guess they did give that hint, but... Yeah, it's very typical to only remember it just after I managed to do it. So, yeah. Well, now it's uh, up to me to defeat Mr. Bug-Eye in a face-off. Boy there! Now what? Let's face off. Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, doll face. Nope. Ready? Never. I'll go first. And this is all up to memory. He's got the <laughs> nasty fish-eyed geezer. <laughs> That's the oh, God, face that... on a newborn. Check this one out. Nasty fish-eyed geezer. Right, let me just go everything on the left then. A uh, stinky cross-eyed meanie. Which just leaves the right column, just to make it easier for myself. Here comes the Arr! stinky cross-eyed meanie. Arr! Gnarly. Cheap whistle has made it through the first round. Nice. But can you top this? Maybe. Here comes the Arr! hooded, lazy-eyed monkey. <laughs> Oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. The bugged out tweaking Gomer. Oh god, I'd be freaked the fuck out if someone made that face at me, but there we go. It's the Arr! bugged out tweaking Gomer. Bye. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the High Prince of the Puss. Bravo. Now is the Ombudsman of unoriginality. Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, Short Stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? Buckets. It's the bug eye. Rarely seen, bros and bras. If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Whoa, extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I just have to. How about your vote for a fine leather jacket? Oh, you know, I've been in the market, but no. Oh, damn. So, yeah, he was never planning to. I had no chance the entire time, huh? Took you long enough to figure out. Did. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. You, you yelly-bellied deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch! You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threepwood for the rest of your very short life! Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh-huh. Fine! He wins! My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Nice! I'm not sure if I would be that happy if you'd be that infected with the pox. But, 
Sure. At least we've got all the votes now, so that's great. Hi there. Now what? Yeah, everyone's just getting really infected with it. That's just bad. So yeah, go call a vote anyway. All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes? Uh-huh. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment! Ready the rack! Oil up the thumbscrews! <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Nah, fine. I vote no. Hey! You said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Thank oh, you, right. Mice. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. You're just giving it to me? Guard it with your life, Greta. Will do. Okay then, well, let's head back up then, because I think we're about done here. Now maybe Morgan will talk to us? Morgan, I got the cochlea! Then go replace it in the ear canal so we can get out of here! I'd like to get you back to Flotsam while I'm young enough to spend the bounty. Oh, yeah. One cochlea we procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Still impressed with Guybrush being able to climb that, but yeah, that would be as slippery as all hell, probably. So let's uh, climb all the way to the top. Up the mainmast, past Winslow, who's probably even more ill or infected with the pox than Guybrush is. Cochlea. I need to replace this in the Manatee's Eustachian Passage. Yeah. At the wound. There you go, pal. Whoa! Holy crap. I think we're back on course. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come! How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew? Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> They're not pleased. Well... I guess it's better to just say it straight up. Yeah, I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Uh... Hmm... A double fine. Yeah. A double fine? Uh, what? You know, like some doubloons, but double the regular amount. But how do we determine the standard fine? Well, I'm not sure. Well, I suppose that's up to your discretion. Wouldn't it be less confusing to just settle on a larger upfront- That's enough! The only punishment is death. Kill him. hey -o. Morgan, 
doll. It's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One. That Nora is just sitting there. Turn and fight, coward. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this should be smite good. Him, smite him. Hmm. Yeah, that seems to be the correct. <laughs> oh, man. Kill, kill. Yeah, let's just go ask for help. I can use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? 